As a moral being, I feel I owe it to the suffering slave and to the deluded master, to my country and all the world, to do all I can to overturn a system of complicated crimes. Sarah and Angelina Grimke were sisters, raised in the slaveholding family in South Carolina. But their own personal religious awakenings would carry them far from home, converting them into outspoken abolitionists, and finally, women's rights activists. It was religion that carried them out of Charleston, not a hatred of slavery. They uh, were part of the Second Great Awakening process, seeking perfection. The Grimke sisters first became Quakers. Later, after hearing the impassioned anti-slavery speeches of William Lloyd Garrison, they became abolitionists. When their fervent anti-slavery speeches drew men as well as women to hear them, they provoked a public outcry. The congregational ministers meet and say, how can we stop this? They issue a pastoral letter that condemns the sisters and says that they are leading the culture to ruin. And it's at that point that Angelina and Sarah Grimke compose the defense of their speaking in terms of women's rights. Men and women were created equal. They are both moral and accountable beings. And whatever is right for man to do, is right for women to do. In the rigidly structured society of the 1830s, Sarah and Angelina Grimke were on the fringes of respectability. But in their passion for religion and reform, the Grimke sisters epitomized the spirit of the times.